Hi and welcome to the Armageddon channel. My name is Stuart Garner and what we have behind me is the Stuart that you saw in an earlier walk around video. As you can see she looks completely different to how she did in the, uh, in the other videos and uh, we've now stripped most of the parts out of it and also made a, a start on the sandblasting. We have done some clips of it as we've worked our way through it though which you'll be able to see as the video plays. Okay today's plan is to uh, lift the turret off. We've already undone all the, uh, all the mounts around the edge there. So now we're just going to put some chains on there and give it a gentle tug and see what happens. Uh, we can only lift it so far up because then we have to get to the, uh, to the collector ring underneath there and uh, take all the wires off. So we'll see how it goes. You can see the collector ring underneath there and uh, it's pretty tight so we're going to lift it up a little bit, give us a little bit more access. it. Whew. That is the wires out. Good condition, really good condition, although we will more likely than not re rewire it. And that's the collector ring, free. So all we've got to do now is lift the tourist out. Well, we got it off. It was a bit of a battle, but it was a lot easier than a lot of the vehicles we've had to do. So, um, all we're going to do now is make a frame. We'll get a frame of sleepers uh, to lower it down onto so that it can't fall on anybody. Um, then we'll undo the basket and uh, we'll be able to work on it. Look at a lot more space in there now. We can even get the belly plate out. And we've got to uh, remove all these pieces take the top of the prop shaft off here um, and then we can uh, we can start cleaning everything up you can see why we need to take the turret off we can now work in this area quite easily you can actually undo bits clean everything up see exactly what we're up against we've got to get the seat out and make some brackets etc pull all these tins out all these boxes there's uh, a lot of work to do in here but so much easier now this is out and we've even found some uh, Little eggs, don't know what they are off, but they're definitely something still in them. Ugh. But you can see the other bearings that they sit on, they've got to be taken off and freed up. That's actually the bearings that the, uh, the rollers that the, the turret traverses on. We've got one, two, just three of them, so uh, very similar to the M8 armoured car. But at least we can work now, so excellent, job well done. Turret basket is off, managed to. Uh, disconnected from the turret. Took a bit of doing but uh, she's now off. We've cleaned her up, given her a pressure wash and a bit of a steam clean and uh, absolutely over the moon with it. There is virtually no rot. The oil that's been leaked all over it has preserved it. It's got the original paint still, part of the original paint under it and really really good condition. While we were steam cleaning as well, these two 30 cal bullet cases got blown out from underneath the, uh, underneath the motor. So our first uh, our first finds of our restoration. Today we've managed to uh, take the front armour off, as you can see. It's now allowed us to get into this area here. We found all sorts of bullets and bits and pieces in the bottom of there, which is quite interesting. Dashboard's come off. Um, Tim is in there, you can just about see his backside. He's uh, working on getting the prop shaft out of that now, uh, so we can get down right into the bottom. Once we've got all this clear, we can then start on uh, sandblasting. Tracks have been removed. They've already been sandblasted, uh, ready for, uh, well, we're soaking the oil, soaking them with oil so we can get the end connectors off because basically with the tracks, what we're going to do is we're going to turn them over. So the, what was underneath the wheels um, is now going to be on the outside because it, uh, it looks a lot better. Tracks have been removed. Idea here is that we've, uh, when you see the tracks, they were really rough on the outside, but the underside that, that ran on the wheels is, uh, is like new. So what we're going to do is actually turn them out, sort of inside out. Um, and run on the good stuff. We've also got to loosen all these off. This is the track tensioner on the back here. What you basically do is you'll, you take that off, or release it a little bit, um, one on either side, screw that bolt out, that nut out, and then this either goes forward or backwards and tensions your track. Because obviously you need good track tension. If it isn't, when you're going through mud, 
you'll lose it and uh, you lose your track and uh, it's a major obstacle obviously if you're in the battle. Another job we've still got to do is uh, take this panel off the top here. This gives us access to the engine. Um, so when that's off, we can then lift the engine out. The engine is going away for, uh, for a service with somebody else. Um, it should come back absolutely mint and running. Um, that gives us access to the whole of the engine bay though, so we can actually look at the fuel tank, see what sort of uh, work needs to be done in there. As you can see, this is the engine, a nice radial uh, seven cylinder. What we have to do to get it out is take the, uh, the starter off up here, um, a few fittings in there to, to remove, um, and then she lifts out through the top. She's in pretty good condition though, and we were told that she actually was running that not, long, not that long ago, so we were very hopeful with her. Here we have the front armour that was already been removed. Um, this is obviously the underside. This is where your 30 cal uh, machine gun would go. The driver would be on that side. Obviously it would be the other way up. Um, but we're really pleased with it. Everything is in really good condition. Um, all we've done with it is sandblast it and just give it a first coat of, uh, of red oxide just to, uh, just to protect it till we can get it painted properly. This is obviously the turret, the wrong way up. Um, this is the main gun. Everything in here is in really good condition. Um, a bit rusty, but other than that, she's very complete and uh, we're really, really pleased with her again. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the gun out of this again, um, so it gives us more access, and then we're going to take anything out that is loose, these boxes, etc., sandblast the inside, uh, and respray it and put it back together again. But we are so lucky that all the parts, or most of the parts, are still here. Normally, when you get a vehicle this old, normally, most of these bits are either been stolen or smashed or something, but this is so complete, it's really, really good. Right, at present, I'm now clearing out all the um, central tunnel so as we can remove the wiring and taking photos as we go so as we know where they've come from and where they're going. What we have noticed while we're cleaning things out is, as somebody previously mentioned, are various bits and pieces that are stuck in here. If you look down here, there's still a loose bullet. Can you see that there? We've not fetched it out yet. That's just part of the clearing up. Good man. Now steady up. And that's the engine out. Very pleased with the way it's turned out as well in here. There's a lot of junk and, and crud in the bottom, but there's no rot. Most of the uh, oil that seeped, seeped out of everywhere has actually preserved it. So we will change the hoses and a few of the pipes, but the majority of it is actually in really, really good condition. We've got the filters down there and even the oil sump. Absolutely perfect oil in it, really good condition. This is a seven cylinder radio we've taken out. Uh, really good condition, as we already said. Um, came up, absolute treat though. Slid out of the clutch fork, no problem. Everything came out really unusual, to be fair. Um, first Stuart we've worked on, taking the engine out, done a few Shermans, and this definitely comes out easier than the Shermans. So, so far, from the clips you've just seen, you'll, uh, you'll realise the, the amount of work that's already gone into it. We've been very lucky. We've taken the tops off the, uh, the final drive here. That was all mint inside, nothing to do in there at all. Gearbox, we're pretty sure, is good. Uh, oil coolers have been taken off, there's a video clip of that being done. Uh, we've pressure tested them, they're pretty good. Um, everything inside that was restorable and, re and re 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 rebuildable will be done. Um, we have a few parts that we've got to get, but we're already working on those. There's like the ammunition racks in the back, they were missing. We've already managed to source at least one of those. Um, we'll have to use that as a pattern to make the one that goes on the other side. Uh, the engine we've got on a pallet. That is going away to be restored by, by a different uh, gentleman. Um, everything else is pretty well on, on track. And what you'll see is, over the next few weeks, if you follow us on the Facebook page as well, what you'll see is the, uh, the way it, it moves on. And at the end of that, you'll see her with a new coat of paint on her. Uh, still don't trying to decide whether to go green or sand. So we'll, uh, we'll surprise you at that video. Thanks for watching part one of the Stuart Rebuild. Part two will be coming very soon. We are moving on very quickly with this project, so keep an eye on it out for us, and then uh, part three will be, hopefully, you'll see this old girl driving around the course.